Okay, this is the uh, the last in our free training experiments, and we've got something exciting for you. Uh, we've got a select like the clamping circuit demo. So we've now got a full circuit. So we hope to r put a lot more example circuits in to demonstrate how they work, talk talk you through them, and then um, you can change and operate them yourself and experiment because uh, everyone needs little tweaks normally. So what we've got here, as I say, is a clamping circuit. It's quite a common si system. Um, what happens is the um, you want the cylinder to move first. That clamps onto a piece of equipment. And then once it's clamped, the cylinder obviously stops and the motor moves in. And the motor does its process. Once it's finished, you unlock and the cylinder moves back. Uh, releases the work and the motor takes it away. So let's just see it in action. We've got a reducing valve here. So we've got lower pressure onto the cylinder where there's no load on it so it doesn't doesn't need a lot of pressure. That moves in and then once that's happened the pressure increases uh, and that operates our sweet sequence valve and the sequence valve opens and starts the hydraulic motor and we've got speed control on the motor here we need that just to raise some back pressure um, when we're finished operate it the other way and the uh, cylinder moves back and the hydraulic motor starts again so quite a simple little circuit but quite nice to demonstrate what we can do with the program we've got our energy counts at the top just something I would like to show is here if we select a closed center valve we now see that everything goes a little bit mad so it works but in the center condition it, it really doesn't know what to do and it can oscillate a little bit from side to side now this is partly due to the fact that the uh, the program doesn't include all the compliances and some of the fine resistances that would change this in the dynamics to get set up but also when we look at the circuit it's not really the you know the circuit is not ideal we've got closed center valve so we've got pressure on these two lines there will be pressure seeping from the input pressure line so you probably get half the pressure the supply pressure on these lines different valves different tolerances may vary a little bit if we've got an unequal cylinder which we have that will drive the cylinder one way if we've got loads on it then it might drive it back as soon as it starts to move it releases pressure on one side and works the other side so we avoid we try to avoid designs like this we try to have a nice clean signal we've always got tank pressure there it's open always got tank pressure on that it will stay stable so although the simulation program is not ideal and the velocities that we get on the cylinder we will try to improve them but make it more realistic but it's just that it's moving very quickly and in some ways that highlights an issue so it's not a bad thing that the simulation does uh, your system might not perform in quite the same way but it, it will have issues if you do uh, put closed closed center valves there so um, that was just a little introduction of what some of the issues you can get with the software but that you will get in your systems it's quite a nice um nice little program we hope to say we're hoping to add lots more different circuits for you to experiment with uh, but they will need signing into the pro version to have a look at so uh, this is only version 0.132 not fully released yet so uh, we'll add lots more later hopefully you'll uh, come back and see them